So some of you mentioned that the beaded pink shirt was more for secondary school and maybe the upper levels of elementary and they were looking for something for pink shirt day for the lower levels. And the only thing I could think of at this point is um, getting one of these embroidery boards which what I did was I just went to the dollar store, got a cross stitch kit, it's a dollar twenty-five. Came with a bunch of different yarn and one of these square embroidery boards, and it comes with a plastic needle, which would be very perfect for elementary. And um, you know, then I've taken my little T-shirt cutout and made a little tracing. And then what I'm going to do is try as best I can to do an outline of the shirt. And then, uh, then I'll fill it all in and see if this could be something that primary students could do. And I did try some pony beads and you could maybe put some beads in with it with some pony beads or just strictly do it this way so that they can practice using a plastic needle and thread I'm just going to try to tie this at the bottom here okay and then I'm not going to do a cross stitch I'm just going to do a sewing stitch by going up and down. Oops, I went through the same one. So it came undone. So you gotta go <laughs> up one and then move over to the next square, otherwise you just undo it. So I will, which one did I come up? That one, gotta go down that one. So you can just continue doing this around the shirt and I'll come back on after if I've made an outline of a t-shirt okay there you have I've outlined it in pink and uh, it worked okay and now I will just continue to fill in the rest. Again, I'm just going to keep doing easy stitches, uh, trying to make it as easy as possible, not do any fancy stitches. And I'll fill in the whole shirt like this, and then maybe I'll take another color and fill all around the shirt and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. Okay, as promised, here is what it would look like if it was all filled in. Um, so it gives you an option of a easier project for primary as opposed to the beaded shirt which was quite advanced and required more skill. Um, I also just want to quickly say that I also was thinking about this with the red dress. Um, so I tried it both with doing a red dress and the outline, but I also tried it with cutting out the red dress um, from this. Do you have to keep in mind that when you cut it out, it does create some kind of sharper edges, um, which I'm not sure if that's great with primary and also it would require you probably having to cut out all these patterns for them but I just wanted to show you that you could do that with the pink shirt or if you wanted to do the red dress this is what it looked like after I did a basic not a cross stitch just a regular stitch uh, in case you wanted them to be able to wear it and I put a few beads on because um, this would be harder to like wear but you could wear it um, and then 
just to let you know I'm currently working on a video w about this and about a primary red dress so instead of doing like a fully beaded red dress uh, I was asked for something more simple and so this is what I came up with is just you know having your felt and then just doing the beading along the edge and then a little bit more advanced if you wanted to could put more beads on the bottom of the dress make them a little you know some dangly beads just depends on the skill level and then I also am currently working on these which use Delica beads and I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video on it because I watched videos in order to do it myself. I custom sort of made my own pattern for this one, but I can point you guys in the right direction. So you can check out my red dress videos if you're interested.